guys? Today we are going to be discussing compounding and the effect of compounding and the difference between this compound, the difference between compound interest and simple interest. The reason why I'm making this video is because it can be very tough for some students to move from simple interest to compound interest and this video will kind of help to bridge that gap. So we're going to see the massive difference in this example here. Sam's mom gives him one dollar which she doubles at the end of the day every day. How much money will Sam have after a year, at the end of the year? Okay, so let's make a table here. Day, and then let's do it by bracket end. Okay, and then let's do this, money. So on the zeroth day, which is just our very initial day, so this is just our initial day, when Sam just gets that one dollar, Sam will have one dollar. But then by the end of day one, because this is day end, Sam will have one times two. So you have one dollar times our rate of compounding, which is uh, doubling, so two. Now, by day two, whoa, I'm gonna erase it. By day two, Sam will now have one times two times two which is just from this, from this over here, one times two. But now he's going to be d d d doubling that again. So one times two times two, which is also just equal to one times two times two. Now by day three, Sam will have one times two from the first day, from this first day, then he'll have 1 times 2 times 2 from the second day because he's, you know, d d d d doubled his m money on the second day. Then he's going to be d doubling that amount again. So 1 times 2 times 2 times 2. He's doubling it one more time. And then you can kind of see a pattern over here. So this can also be, so this can also be written as 1 times 2 to the power of 0. This can be written as 1 times 2 to the power of 1. This can be written as 1 times, oh sorry, that black dot is just really triggering me, 1 times 2 squared. And this can also be just written as 1 times 2, but this time it's cubed to the power of 3. So we can see how each day we just increase the exponent which we take our number 2 to. We're increasing it by 1 each time, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So by day 365, we would have 1 times 2 to the power of 365 because we've doubled our money 365 times and this number is so massive this number is equal to 7.515336 times 10 to the power of 109 that's how massive this number is now if this were Simple interest, how much money would we have?